Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are jumping in and checking out Sir Junkin. This is an item that comes from the Warp Zone mod and originally comes from the Enter the Gungeon uh, roguelike game. And it's a really interesting little dude. It works similarly to how it does in Enter the Gungeon. Basically, he's a very weak familiar that pursues enemies and does damage, but you can blow up items with bombs to collect junk that will power him up. And every seven junk he will become sort of this big boss sort of fella, and then we'll spawn another Junkin and keep going with it. So we're going to jump in straight away with a little Junkin here. He is very weak right now. We are able to shoot, but I'm not able to pick up items. All of them go to Junkin, which means that first floor will be okay, but we will get progressively a lot, lot weaker, and Junkin will kind of take over as the main damage dealing source. Now, we did start this run with a library, which spells opportunity if we get a key. Would be quite nice to see that. But we also need bombs too. We also need bombs as well. So first off, we'll bomb this. And we'll grab ourselves an item. There you go. So now he's got a little hat. That's his first upgrade level. Uh, but we're going to need a lot more bombs to make sure that we can keep bombing items to keep upgrading this guy. But the potential, the potential is like multiple upgrades per floor. And we could, by the end of the run, have quite a few max level Junkins on our side. The, also, one interesting thing about little old junk in here is you can spawn junk by bombing items that haven't been purchased from the shop and devil deals, which is very, very strong with this guy, because you can get multiple items in one go that way. Some bad hits damage-wise there. That junk can take care of that dude. Sadly, no additional bombs this floor. Um, I'm going to gamble a little bit here and go cash room. I just think the chances of us getting a bomb in there are, like, not zero. Unfortunately, I got a room where I need a bomb, but I do have a, a TNT barrel that I can utilize. Can you die? Thank you. <gasps> That's why we did it, baby. So we can do this. Uh, wait, how is this going to work? Do, if, I, if I put this bomb, if I put this barrel, like, here, will this work? I don't know. I'm going to try it out. It did work. Good. Right. Good stuff. So now we've got two bombs to work with. So we can go into our library here. And I don't think this will give us three junk. It did. <laughs> it did. Okay. So this has put us in a very, very good spot. Uh, we can also now go to our shop as well and try and bomb an item in the shop or two if there's multiple. Um, let's have a little look-see. Beautiful. We've already got him up to, what is that, fifth level, I think it is? So now he's got a spin attack. He's doing a lot more damage, so he's going to be taking us over now. You can see the amount of damage he's doing to enemies is uh, pretty high. So we've already got a really good run started with this dude. And we can, we're almost ready to spawn in our next level Junkin. Unfortunately, we can't take other items, so Pageant Boy, we don't have a bomb for you. You kind of just stay there. We, we will miss you. You will be sorely missed. As for the question of the day today, what is an item from... Like, what is your favourite item, but from any roguelike? It doesn't have to be Isaac specifically. Uh, it can be any roguelike. It could, could be Into the Gungeon. could be, like, Blazing Beaks or something like that. I don't know. What's a, what's a roguelike item that's just, like, really stands out to you? I think for me, I'm, I'm being a bit basic just picking Isaac here, but I think for me it's probably still Fruitcake. I just love the randomness of it, and I love the fact that when more items get added, those tiers get added to the Fruitcake possible effects. I just I just really enjoy that. It's a really, really cool, uh, cool item that's just full of randomness and wackiness, and it's just really strong. I really enjoy it. Um, so, we are going to need as many bombs as we can possibly get on this run, especially from, like, room drops and stuff, but we could also potentially buy them from shops. So, I'm hoping that we get some bomb drops on occasion here, because otherwise we're going to be hard stuck at the levels we're at. We need bombs to upgrade him. But luckily, we got a pretty decent upgrade early on with that library. I wasn't, I was expecting the library to only give us one junk, but the fact that it gave us three is pretty awesome. Now, don't, don't kill the stationary head that does nothing, please. Ow. Black Heart actually came in clutch there. Thank you. So, I will check this out because we could, we could get a bomb in here. We do have two items there, so being able to bomb that would be amazing. But, 
It all lies in the game actually giving us a bomb to utilize here, so we'll see how that goes. This Harlequin heart thing I got is pretty good. That's a penny game. That's not a bomb, that's a penny. There is one boss item I will allow myself to pick up, and that's matchbook. If I get the matchbook from a boss, I will pick that up just because that will fuel our bomb economy. And it will give us the um, matchstick. Oh, come on now. Are you really going to do me dirty like this? Really not going to give me any bombs? Of course it gives me a boss that's got tons of bombs. Oh, dude, we are killing it right now. He has absolutely been destroyed. I love the fact that the targeting on this little fella is so good. Not only that, but devil deals also, you can bomb them. Oh, this is a real shame. There are so many, so many items up for grabs here, and we can't get any of them. I will open this to see if we can get a bomb from beating the room. Sadly, no room reward. Dude, this is this is a tragedy. Um, I guess I could waste my black heart and go curse room. It's a bit of a waste, but I'm going to go for it. And I guess I could check out the item room in the hope that there's a bomb in there, but like a button that could give me a bomb or something, but it's unlikely, right? It's really unlikely. But this is this is a bit of a travesty. So what I mean, like, we we live and die by bomb drops. We, we could have got a max level junk in this floor easily, but... The game was was cruel. What's happening here? Ah, there you go. Hey, some black hearts here is rather nice. That's a lot of black hearts, baby. Okay, that's good. I mean. We've got a lot of money now. <sighs> there is potentially something we can do here. Let me go and have a look at what was in the shop. Because I think there's an item in there that gives us a bomb. If it gives us a bomb, I'll allow myself to buy it. But I do need an extra penny first, though. So let's, uh, let's try and find that. There you go. Okay. I don't want to be grabbing much other items. So if it gives me a bomb, I'll take it. On pickup spawns a coin key bomb at the... S yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll pick that up. It doesn't do anything else for us this run. Right, now we've got to find... Is there a... Like, what's the best place to bomb? That The, the devil deal isn't still open, is it? It'd be nice if it was. It is not. Okay, so I guess we just... No matter what, it doesn't matter. We might as well just bomb this. We got White Knight, that's one off max level. Okay. Okay. Let's keep it moving, shall we? So now he's got whatever that is. Some sort of crazy spin attack. Luckily we've got a decent amount of health to work with now, which is kind of nice. Beautiful. Yeah, so you can jump over gaps now as well. That's great. I didn't realize you were going to... How to jump me like crazy there. We need more luck so we get more room drops. Higher chances for bombs is going to be ideal. Like I said, get matchsticks so we have a higher chance from the trinket. That'd be really nice. Get in there. Kind of leaving him to his own devices now. I don't really need to be firing at the enemies. He's, he's very much handling it on his own. I'll open at least one of these. Oh, really? I was like, chance for a bomb's reasonably high, chance for a key's reasonably high. Got neither. Always having a hard time with these dudes. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hand on these guys, because you're having a hard time. He doesn't quite have the speed to chase them correctly. <laughs> He's got too much charge up on his spin attack. But hopefully if you get one bomb this floor... We can at least get one max rank Junkin in the mix. That would be ideal. Okay. 
Don't bother about the egg sacs, please. They're not necessary. Good, good. I love that he can jump over gaps now. That makes him so much more versatile. Grouped enemies stand no chance. There's a key. A key is good at least. We can get in some rooms with a key. I'm honestly going to go cash room again. Cash rooms have been pretty kind to us thus far. Um, key for a D6 doesn't do much for us. Devil deal item. That doesn't do much for us either. Unfortunate. That wasn't was what we were hoping for. We've actually cleared quite a lot of rooms here and still no bomb. I'm getting really unlucky with room drops. Oh, I need to remember I can still fire. <laughs> I did do a test of this challenge with blindfold on, but I couldn't, like, destroy poops and stuff, so I ended up not doing that. Um, but I keep forgetting that I don't still have the blindfold on. I can fire if I want. Shop is reasonably valuable for us here. Why do you have such a hard time killing the butt guys? We can buy a bomb here, which honestly we'll do and immediately bomb this. So we get one guy, this is max rank, and then we come in, we spawn another Junkin, and we start upgrading him as well. There you go. Okay, so we're on the ladder now. We have a max rank Junkin, he's going to do some real good stuff for us. And we are in the running for getting some more. Yeah, so now, as you can see, he has flight, so he can fly over all the gaps. And he has a homing, like, shots, which are pretty goddamn good, too. So he, he has become the point now where he's able to significantly help us out. So I'm really hoping that the one dude will carry us. And then if we manage to get to two, it's, it's going to get even better. But... We require bombs for that to happen, and we are not getting many of those. I mean, the shop has been our saving grace so far. Without the shop, we'd be in a, a bit a bit of a rough spot. But being able to being able to actually bomb shop items that you haven't purchased is uh, it's pretty cheesy, but I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Angel deal. Not really what we wanted here. Oh, dude, there's some good items here as well. Instantly kills enemies. <sighs> Oh, if only I had a bomb. Why would you do this to me? I feel like some runs you just have an absolute abundance of bombs all the time. And then the one run where I desperately need them, I'm getting not many. I mean, I've got I've got a good few because obviously I've been able to actually get Ajunkan up to this level. But the room drops could certainly, certainly be a lot more generous than they are currently being. We're at least at the point now where this guy can handle Mersh rooms for us. We no longer need to participate. The tinted rock there. It just it knows you don't have bombs. The fact that this has Herming as well is wild. In uh, Enter the Gungeon as well, uh, he adopts your uh, your bullet effects. So it'd be interesting if he, to see if he adopts tier effects in this. I don't think he does, but it'd be interesting to see. Another Tinted Rock. As I said, it knows. The room rewards are uh, abysmal right now. Thanks for the, uh, the third key that I really needed. Fourth key that I really needed. Oh man, this is getting a little bit annoying. Have we seen a single bomb drop from a room yet? Apart from that very first instance. That's not bad, actually. I was hoping it would just be something that gave me bombs somehow, but... That didn't go over too poorly. This is actually getting really infuriating. Where are the bombs? <laughs> Where are the bombs? We're missing out on so much good stuff. So many Junkin levels. Another angel deal with no bomb to utilize in it. Oh, this is torture. Actual torture. Oh, man. 
Should have given myself Dr. Fetus. <laughs> Have enough bombs to do everything. No. I wanted to do it this way because I feel like this is a big part of the challenge. Max level Junkin, as we can clearly see, is pretty strong. I didn't want it to be an absolute steamroll. And I wanted it to be, like, a, a little bit RNG based. And clearly, clearly it is. We are getting super, super unlucky. Another key! Wow! It's what I've always wanted! Not a single bomb this entire floor. Are those red hearts available to me? One of them is. Only half a heart. I'm looking for that 50% chance for the random chest. This is a gamble and a half, but 50% chance for a random chest could give us a bomb. Oh, damn. Okay. We are playing it very, very risky right now. Let's go to the shop and see what the shop has to offer. It does have a bomb. Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough money to grab that bomb. Darn. Um, any other way on this entire floor for us to get a single penny? We are min-maxing to the max right now. A few poops there. A few poops here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Right. I guess we just bomb this. There you go. There you go, little fella. I tried my hardest. I really, really did. <laughs> but yet again, the shop has been our only saving grace this entire run. If the shop didn't work the way it did, the shop didn't have the bombs in it, we would have nothing and nobody. <laughs> I was, I was going to say I should allow myself to take HP, but I'm like, nope, uh, unnatural, only bomb giving items. Nothing else to be taken. Oh, we got a planetarium here. You gotta be really careful here where I'm very, very low HP. But you watch, the game won't give us HP or bombs. It'll just give us keys and pennies. Well, there's the key. And there's a penny. There's another key. Chariot. Chariot's decent for us here. I just want to get another another boy with us. Wish he had a bit more range, but then again, he's strong enough as he is. Oh my god! It's the first of its kind. It's the first of its kind. Never before seen. A bomb dropping from a room. Is that a bomb as well? Oh, that's another bomb, baby! Save them up. They're a hot commodity. <gasps> that's beautiful. That's that's very, very good for us right now. We were in desperate need of that. Oh my god, it's all it's all popping off now, people. It's all popping off. Sorry, Neptunus. You are not for us today. Okay. Um, I guess I can pop this for now. Oh, what? I forgot the stars takes you to planetarium if there's one. Damn it. I forgot about that. Okay, Junkins, I'm going to really need you to focus up here because otherwise I could take some damage. I'm going to need you to be hitting the right enemies. All good. Is that some more bombs? Oh my goodness, my good giddy god. It's like Christmas morning out here. 
What's going on? Bomb that. There you go, my beautiful boy. You are making your way. I don't know why I walked right into that. That was very silly of me. Very silly indeed. Yet another bomb, baby. Good, good. You're three levels off. Three more items and you will be flying high with your brother. And that's what we want. Flying high. Oh, God. I was about to be nuked. What's going on in this room? Well, I'm going to take some damage to this, aren't I? Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite. What a pointless room. Speed down. Hawaii. Also, that enemy is way too close to the door there. Wow. Oh my god, the bombs, finally. Let it rain. Oh, this is going to be like Brimstone or something, isn't it? You can give me an amazing Devil Deal item here. Now, nah, luckily, nothing crazy. One more, and you are fully upgraded. Just one more. These two are like a match made in heaven. In uh, Enter the Gungeon, when he's white knighted, when he's like this version of him, he can uh, sacrifice himself to save you instead of dying. So I wonder if that's the same. Once he gets to max rank, he can no longer do that. It's only if he's white rank, um, white knight rank. But I'd be interested to see if that works in um, Isaac 2. Be rather intriguing. Right. We don't have any soul hearts to protect our devil slash angel deal, and I would like to get one that I can actually blow up, so let's try and not get hit. Well, I was just about to say this I was just about to say this room does not bird well for not being hit. What the hell was that? There's so many tears there. One thing that's slightly annoying about max level junking is he doesn't seem to want to get within range. Oh, my bombs. He doesn't seem to want to get within range before firing. He just fires at the like in the enemy's direction and hopes it hits them. Which in most rooms is fine, but in the big rooms doesn't really work. Right. Chunker number three, baby. Chunker number three. Two max rank fellas. We seem to have amalgamated into one. The heart there. We're going to go back and grab that shortly. But yeah, we are onto our third little Junkin friend now. Yeah, I like the way that they, these two like have overlapped like directly, so you can barely tell there's two of them now. It's basically just like we give them one double shot. No item room this way, sadly. Look at the little one try. <laughs> the little guy, he's trying his darndest to kill that thing. He's got so much determinism. He 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 sees what his his, his father. His, his elder has become. He's trying to impress. But he simply cannot. Where's the item room at? Okay. Luckily, it wasn't too far. We go again, baby. Okay. He's got his hat. He's ready. He's raring to go. He's not weaponized yet, but he can headbutt. He sure can headbutt. Let's go fight the boss. Yeah, we average around three junk a floor. Sometimes four. 
So it typically takes two to three levels to upgrade a junk to max. So by the end of this, we should hopefully have four max levels, I'd think. Although, the chest could really, really give us a lot more upgrades if we get a lot of chests. We will go with this. Sadly, we don't get an item there. We do get one here. Lovely. He's got his sword now. He is weaponized. Yeah, obviously these floors, the amount of uh, the amount of um, junk and upgrades we get are going to be much lower because there's just not item rooms and shops. Yes, especially the lack of shops, dude. That was some bad damage I just took there. What on earth was I doing? Just walked right into two of those skulls. Gonna need some health, game. Gonna need some health. That's a troll bomb. Nothing healthy about that. We can hold it together, though. For, for Junkin, for our lad, for our knight in shining armor, we can hold it together. But yeah, I absolutely love uh, love Junkin in... Uh, oh, there's a library. That's good. I absolutely love uh, Junkin in Enter the Gungeon. I actually, like, did it... My, my first ever series I did on YouTube. By the way, for any of you that haven't seen that, if, if you like Enter the Gungeon, highly recommend it. It's still one of my proudest series. I got some really cool episodes in there. Uh, it was really shitty mic and stuff, and I was a lot less confident, so, like... I'm just not as sort of audible and stuff, but still, it's a good watch. Um, I don't mind it at all. Um, and there is some really cool moments. And uh, like we, we we gave Junkin the name Jebediah, and it kind of stuck. Um, so now Junkin to me will for all for, for always and forever be Jebediah. All right, come along. Really worried about my HP right now. I'm two hits away from death. Which on the womb could happen pretty swiftly. Just gotta play it a lot more cautiously than I'm used to. Of course, now we have an abundance of bombs, whereas the early game, we were we we, we could have got so like an extra full level junkin by now. Where's the HP at game? Oh no. Invincible enemy is not not good for us. Ooh, I mean that doesn't actually help us. We're still two hits away from death. Oh my lord, <laughs> the damage these guys are outputting is pretty insane. Right, two more levels. Hopefully we can get two items on this floor. Arcade spells some good stuff for us. There you go, there's one. And there's two, there you go. Another max level. We are on to our fourth. As I said, four max levels by the end of the run is what I'm predicting. I did see that bomb back there, by the way. Let me go grab it. Yeah, I'm predicting to get another max level, so we need six more items here. I think six, or is it seven on top of the original one? I'm not entirely sure. I think we might need um, seven. We've already got two this floor. A bit out of the blue from an arcade. But you can see, well, now we've got three. Oh, dude, that was some... Really insanely bad damage. Almost died there. Very nearly perished. Um, I guess I'm going to have to play the arcade to try and get some HP, which I very rarely do, but needs must. Probably not going to end up paying out, but you got to try it. Just 
Try to make sure to walk away so the fly doesn't hurt me if I end up getting the, the bad roll. I mean, that, that, that helps. Not what I was looking for specifically, not what I was expecting, but... A pretty fly, there you go. Dude, these machines are... S I, I do really wish there was a mod that just made those machines pay out a little more often. Because goddamn, are they absolutely useless in their current iteration. They're, like, when do you, when do people ever use this in a run to get items? They're so, so rare to pay out with actually decent stuff. Like, even just like keys, bombs, hearts. It just... The payout rates are just terrible. Okay, unfortunately... All these guys were stuck on that dude. There you go. I managed to finagle it to work. Okay. Keep going this way. Damn you, game. How could I be wrong? How could I be wrong? Nah, I did it on purpose. That's why I left this key here so I can come back and pick it up on the way back. Simple, see? God, I'm really hungry. I need to go get some food straight after this. I am in need of some good food, good eats. I'm going to go into the city center to do a little bit of shopping because it's someone's birthday on the weekend. I need to get my present. And I'm going to look for something tasty to eat while I'm in town. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get, though. I have yet to decide. Oh, my God. That was stupid. Okay, um, just up we go, I think. I forgot we didn't get an item here, to be honest, so that was a little unfortunate. This this little wee Junkin is, uh, is is kind of all his learned, so we won't get any items this floor either, so it's all down to the, the, the chests that we get on the next floor, really. We get four right off the bat, though, which is pretty good, and we have two bombs, which is enough to um, destroy all four chests, because they'll spawn close enough to each other where we can get two in one. But after that, we're going to need a lot more bombs if we're going to get up to the, the four... The four Junkins that we need. There's one bomb. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. One second. All right, let's keep this trainer moving. Range, I do not need. My boys have enough range slash can't benefit from range upgrades. So, <laughs> Ooh, you're about to get destroyed. Oh, come on now. Ooh, I got a lot of hearts from that randomly. I don't know why. I'm very happy I did because I was in desperate need of them. Desperate, desperate need. Apologies for all the pausing. I am just setting some stuff up at the moment. Right, anyways, let's finish this one out because we are pretty close. And Junkin is almighty. Oh, dude, why does he get fixated on the, uh, the invincible enemy? I'm not, I don't want to have to use a bomb to kill this guy. Okay, luckily. Luckily he managed to accidentally kill the right ghost there. <laughs> Thank you for that. Right. Isaac, you shouldn't be too bad. You don't even have boss armor, so... A three Junkin Fury will destroy you. And in we go. We just got to set up our bombs on these chests, and we'll get a level four straight away. Beautiful. Look at him go, the mega upgrades. Oh god, what is this room? I do not like this. Oh my god. <laughs> what a weird room. Um, Junkin? Is there a reason you're not firing at any of these? I don't know what's going on here, but Junkin's not firing and it's, uh... I'm gonna die. I've gotta use a bomb, sadly. That didn't work! No! No! What the hell, game? <laughs> what the hell? Anyways, we'll leave it there. Uh, that was a pretty fun run. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.